Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all having an awesome day. And today I'm back with another Fusion 360 tutorial. And what we're going to be learning about today is how to do angled hole cuts through an object. So to tell you what I'm talking about, if we have a look at this, you can see here we've just got a sort of basic uh, rectangle cube shape. And I've got a hole here up in the top left. But you can see if we rotate, it's cutting through this object at an angle and it's going backwards as well. So if we look at it from this angle, you can see it's cutting all the way through, going all the way across. But if we look at it from above, you can see that it's going backwards, right? So if we come to the other side, you can see it comes out below. And it's a nice clean cut. And the way to do this is using 3D sketching. So I'm gonna show you a really nice way to do it. So first thing we do, I'm gonna create a new design as always. And I'm just going to go for a sketch. I like to work top down. And let's grab the two point rectangle. I'm just going to go for 120 by 80. And we're just going to give that its dimensions. Always give it dimensions. So we're just going to throw those in. And now we're just going to extrude that up. Just so I've got something to work with. Right, I'm going to go up 85. Right, so the first thing we need to do is define two points where we want the center of the hole to be, essentially. So we need to create a new sketch and we're gonna select the surface that we want to start on. So I'm gonna select this one. Now if we come up to the line to, oh, we come up to create, sorry, and then come down to point and we can place this anywhere we want. I'm gonna place it around here. And what you'd also do then is add in your dimensions for this point because you need to tell Fusion 360 where everything is, right? So we're gonna add that in with reference to the top of our object. And again, we're gonna add this one in with reference to the side of our object. And you can see it's happy with that. So that's the first point, and we're gonna hit finish sketch. And you can see if we rotate, that's there nicely, just as we want it to be. But if we rotate now and come around to the other side, we wanna create a new sketch again and we want to do the same thing. We just want to place our second point that will be the center of the hole. So if we come up to create, come down to point, and we just want to place this again wherever, right? And remember to give it dimensions. So we're going to add those in. And you can hit D on the keyboard, which is a shortcut. It takes you to the dimension tool. And that'll allow you to add these. So there we go. We've added those in. And now if we finish sketch, and we rotate this around, the only thing left to do at this point is to add in that line, right, that diagonal line. And we're essentially creating a path for whatever kind of extrusion we're gonna do. So in order to do this, we need to create a new sketch. And to be honest, it doesn't really matter which plane you select to do this, but I'm just gonna select uh, this one, the front, front plane. And you wanna make sure you hide the body, right? So come up here to the body folder and hide body one or whatever body you're working with. And you can see if we rotate now, we can see these two points, but notice it's not letting us select any of them, right? What we need to do here on the sketch palette on the right, we need to tick 3D sketch. So we're gonna go and do that. And what that'll allow you to do is create a sketch that is essentially join in two other sketches or two or more sketches. So if we come up to create line, if we select this first point, you can see the little blue box around it. We wanna click. And then if we come down to the second point, we're gonna select that and you can see it's given us the angle. So if we click and hit the little tick to say that we're done. Oops, so I missed the tick there. So we're gonna trim that line. There we go. We wanna hit finish sketch. And now you can see if we rotate, we've got this nice diagonal line cutting through. And if we show the body again, so we wanna click the little icon next to body one, that shows the body. And you can see there we've got this nice line going through. Now, there's a few ways you can actually do the cut. You can use the pipe tool, but I don't like to use that because it doesn't cut all the way. And what I'll show you what I mean. So if I go to create pipe, you just select the path that you want. We're gonna select this one. You can see what's happening is, 
it'll only cut to the end of the path, which means it's not cutting all the way through. So I don't like to use that. We're not going to use that. What we're going to do instead is we're going to go up to the Construct tab and we're going to construct a plain long path. So we're going to click that and select our path. And you can see what that's done is it's created a plane on along that line and you can drag it wherever you want. Now I'm going to drag it just somewhere in the middle. doesn't matter where. If you want it exactly in the middle, you can enter a distance here of 0.5. And I'll place it exactly halfway between the two points. And now what we want to do is just create a sketch on this plane. So if we hide the body again, we come up to create sketch. Now we want to rotate and select this plane. And if we show the body again, you can see that the center point of this plane we know is the line of our path, right? So we don't have to worry about that. So all we need to do now is define the diameter of the hole. So we come up to our center diameter circle, click the center point of the plane or the sketch. And I'm going to enter maybe, uh, let's try 12 millimeters. That seems okay. And bear in mind, you know, you can adjust this later on. But I'm going to enter that there. You can see it's happy with the position because it's in the center point of the plane. And you can see now if we rotate, we've got this hole here in the center of our path. So again, we're going to hit finish sketch. And now we're in a position to extrude. So if we come up to extrude, we need to select the sketch, but obviously it's inside the object. So how, if you try and do it like this, it's not going to let you. But again, you can just hide body one and it'll show the object, rotate around a little bit and select it just like that. Now we can show body one again, just like that. And we want to extend this in two directions. So we want to change direction to two sides. And you can see here, it's got side one and side two. And we want to extend to object. And the object we're extending to is the surface of this um, cube or whatever we're creating. So we're going to click that. And you can see it's extended all the way to the surface. So on the pipe tool before you could see it was only coming so far. Now we're able to cut right through until it hits the surface. And that's exactly what we want. And the side two, again, we want to do extent to object, come, turn it around, select the back face. And there we go. You can see that one's done the same thing. So now we've got a nice clean cut straight through the object. No messing about. And even if we go and change the dimensions of this, it's all going to stay nice and um, in, in proportion. So once you're done, you can just hit OK. That'll make the cuts for you. And you can see here we've got a nice hole now, at a diagonal straight through our object. And we can hide the sketches if we want to, to hide the path so that now we've got a nice clean cut straight through. And that's the basics of it. That's how you do angle cuts through an object in Fusion 360. I hope you found this useful. If you're a beginner and you're interested in learning more about Fusion 360, I've got a great course that I've put together and it's available on my website. I leave a link in the description below if you're interested. But that's it for this one. If you've got any requests, leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next video.